Welcome back, guys. This is the one-year update of our 25-way graphene ceramic coatings longevity test. Overall, this has been a fantastic test so far, but has it really showed us that graphene-based, graphene-infused, or graphene-whatever is or is not gaining much of anything compared to those standard ceramic coatings out there? Let's see how they're doing here at the notable one-year mark. So now we'll foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course, rinse it off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are getting on. First up, Drive Auto Nano. Looks like it is looking pretty tired. Not quite failed, but definitely has some wear on it. Graphene pre-production sample A. Also looks like it's got some wear, but still doing all right. And glossed graphene. Looks like it is also got some wear on it, but still doing okay. IGL Easy Graphene rated at a one year coating. Here we are at the one year mark and it's a little bit tired, but still still going. And 4210H Graphene, more hydrophobic still. Drive Auto Graphene versus the non-graphene above. It looks like the non-graphene version is performing a little bit better. Ethos Resist. We're getting pretty close to calling that one failed. You know, if you saw if you saw that product on your vehicle performing that way, you'd probably call it failed. For the purposes of where we're at in the test right now, I don't think we're going to call it, but it's <laughs> it's really close. It's probably going to be next month and it's done. Adams Graphene 9H spray, sort of the same boat. Extreme Solutions. I had already we had already called that one failed. Glassparency Graphene Spray. Looks like it's hanging in there, albeit just barely. See the water sticks for a long time. So it looks like the those three remaining graphene sprays, they're probably gonna be done next month. IGL Kenzo Standard versus Graphene. Here at the one year mark, we do have Kenzo Graphene in another test that's a little bit older and it had failed around the year and two months i believe doesn't quite look like it's gonna fail around there in this test but it's still hanging in there glass parency graphene coating it's also looking pretty tired extreme solutions graphene coating also about the same Adams 10H, again, also the same. Ethos Graphene Matrix, maybe a little bit better there. Not a whole lot. They're all starting to get pretty tired here at the year mark. And remember, these were washed once a week for the first week and then monthly after that. The hood was rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after each wash. Down to the bottom row, SPS Graphene, looking very hydrophobic. Look at that. I think SPS Graphene is probably the most hydrophobic on this. What do you think? Have you guys used any of these? They're all looking pretty tired, maybe, except for the SPS. During the next month's update, there's probably gonna be quite a few failed, looking at what it's looking like here. So let me know your opinions in the comments, and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.